When a microbe infects tissue, a cascade of pro-inflammatory mediators are released, but these are counterbalanced by the release of anti-inflammatory agents. It is this balance that enables mobilization of defense and microbe-killing mediators while allowing tissue repair and healing. In sepsis, this equilibrium is perturbed, and the pro-inflammatory mediators dominate to elicit endothelial damage. Studies of the extent of coagulation and fibrinolysis abnormalities in sepsis have shown that endothelial damage promotes coagulation. Normally, modulators promote fibrinolysis to counteract the thrombosis. In sepsis, however, the endothelial damage is proposed to suppress fibrinolysis, further contributing to the loss of control. As the body tries to return to a normal state, the endogenous modulators of homeostasis are consumed and their levels become low. In parallel, the endothelial damage promotes further inflammation. Left unopposed, the endothelial damage accumulates, and in turn, so does coagulation. This cycle of uncontrolled inflammation and coagulation fuels the progression of sepsis, resulting in hypoxia, widespread ischemia, organ dysfunction, and ultimately death for a large number of patients.